This morning's farm report is sponsored by LS Tractor. Start blue, stay blue. This year, make LS Tractor your all-season workhorse. From spring applications using LS tillers, box blades, rotary cutters and grapples, to winter applications utilizing LS snow blowers, blades and brooms. With this lineup, there's no job you can't do with LS Tractors and Implements. Learn more at LSTractorUSA.com or check out your local LS dealer. Well, good morning, folks. A great big howdy to everybody. Thank you for allowing me to come by and visit with you this morning. Uh, I appreciate, and the station here greatly appreciates the continuing support of LS Tractor Company. And uh, these tractors are assembled here in Nash County, and they are fine uh, specimens of uh, good work, and we appreciate uh, their support uh, more than I can say. Looking ahead into uh, agriculture and what's going on currently, uh, agriculture is a big part of our economy, I mean a tremendous part, and I'd like to begin with uh, an overview of it. Agriculture is North Carolina's number one industry. It contributes more than $100 billion to the state's economy. It accounts for more than 17% of the state's income. More than 17% of North Carolinians work in agriculture. North Carolina agricultural ratings uh, include, uh, it's a very agriculturally diverse state, meaning it produces many crops, livestock, and ag products. Number one, North Carolina produce, produces more tobacco, sweet potatoes, and poultry and egg cash receipts than any other state. So number one in this slot includes tobacco, sweet potatoes, poultry and egg cash receipts. Number two, uh, North Carolina is second in the nation in turkeys, annual uh, pig uh, crop and trout sold. So uh, the seafood industry is uh, big. Um, uh, pork is tremendous and so is uh, uh, fowl or chicken. Number three, North Carolina ranks third in the nation for cucumbers. Other prominent crops and livestock in North Carolina uh, include uh, broilers, which are chickens raised for meat, uh, peanuts, watermelons, cotton, soybeans, wheat, strawberries, corn, beef, cattle, nursery and landscape plants, and uh, floriculture, bell peppers, apples, tomatoes, peaches, honey, squash, pumpkins, pecans, oysters and fish, grapes and greens, uh, that would be collards, mustards, uh, mustard uh, varieties, turnips, such as that. And making all this happen are our farmers and ranchers. Farmers and ranchers are responsible for planting, growing, harvesting, raising, and producing our crops and livestock. And I remind you, without farmers and ranchers, these agricultural careers would not exist. And from uh, the aspect of farming, uh, all kinds of careers are spawned. And uh, th this is just an overview of that. Uh, they include uh, ag business, uh, animal science, food science, uh, agricultural production and mechanics, plant science, education, environmental sciences and natural resources. Uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, an overview, a mere overview with uh, no details of the various careers that uh, are made possible by way of what, what our farmers and ranchers do. And we appreciate that immensely. I've been talking in recent weeks about uh, North Carolina uh, going over $100 billion in uh, receipts for our crops. And uh, good news about that continues to happen. And here's the latest. Uh, the $103.2 billion in North Carolina ag is about more than dollars. It's about people. Uh, this is what I'm trying to say. North Carolina hit a major milestone 
when North Carolina Commissioner of Agriculture Steve Troxler announced that our state's agriculture industry hit over $100 billion in economic activity for the first time, $103.2 billion to be exact. While this is worth celebrating, the conversation should recognize that every dollar represents an impact on an everyday North Carolinian. Figuring out how we sustain and advance this growth is about continuing to nurture a sector of our economy that allows them to flourish. So with $103 billion plus dollars, what does that look like? The $103.2 billion looks like uh, one in six of your friends and family contributing to our state's agriculture. This $103.2 billion looks like the technician fixing the down tractor on the road, a mom and dad taking the kids to pick strawberries on a Saturday afternoon, the fifth generation student getting an agribusiness degree to go back to their family farm, or even a classmate uh, trying something new in the industry by working on an application in the university's agricultural entrepreneurship program. Those $103.2 billion do include the farmers in our state, but when 99% of the people in North Carolina don't work on the farm, that $103.2 billion also includes those who support the hardworking farmers uh, laboring in the fields or in the sh on the shores. Those $103.2 billion uh, are working to do more with less and have contributed to our state's economy through their own entrepreneurial spirit. North Carolina's entrepreneurship in agriculture is defined this way. While most people associate the term entrepreneurship with big business moguls or stories of college dropouts making it big in the tech industry, at its core, entrepreneurship is the practice of innovating and creating additional value in the market. For North Carolina's agriculture, this has become a necessity to meet consumer demand and remain viable. For those uh, one in six employed in our state's agribusiness and agriculture, uh, entrepreneurship has become the norm. That $103.2 billion figure tells the story of each entrepreneur finding new ways to better our food supply chain or build up their business in the fields or elsewhere. It's no coincidence that North Carolina has enjoyed a growing economy. Those in the industry are finding new solutions and methods to bring in revenue and become more efficient. They do all this in the face of contradictory government statutes, a slowdown caused by overbearing COVID era policies and the consequences of inflation brought on by runaway government spending. The tenacity of North Carolina agriculture's entrepreneurial spirit, uh, it is somewhat, and this is what I mean. Despite these external pressures, North Carolina agriculture's entrepreneurial spirit continues to grow both on and off the farm. The growth of value added practices such as agri-tourism, farms taking up some direct processing and retailing activities like jamming or creating jerky or even finding new ways to grow and process oysters are just snapshots of how entrepreneurship is contributing to the growth of North Carolina's premier industry. The strength of North Carolina's agriculture and agribusiness is a tale of the entrepreneur succeeding as the market and laws shift under their feet. For those that farm, the answer to their survival may be agritourism. To those that work the supply chain of our food, the solution might be found in more efficient technologies. Regardless, the efforts made by those in agriculture and agribusiness to add value to their production capabilities have resulted in the milestone we celebrate today. The story of agriculture in North Carolina is that of entrepreneurship. Indeed it is. Uh, when looking at ways to nurture the sector of our economy responsible for feeding our families, the answer is found in how to better the station of the agricultural entrepreneur moving forward. 
first uh, and foremost means that such support ought to consider the following principles to better each individual operating within the industry. Number one, lessen the confusion and contradictions found in government regulations at the city, county, and state level. Number two, eliminate policies advocating direct planning that uh, stifle individual innovation. Number three, quicken the rate of bringing and testing new ideas and products to the market. Follow these uh, following these principles will allow our entrepreneurs in the agricultural space to grow the economy naturally and freely as we navigate a future with fewer uh, resources and increasing demand. Nurturing our state's premier industry means to recognize that entrepreneurship often takes the form of an idea crafted and brought to action by an individual, not an author author authoritarian, author I declare, not an author authoritarian hand of the government. And for those contributing to our state's agricultural output, entrepreneurship has become a definable characteristic that begins with the individual working in the field, processing plant, manufacturing firm, or marketing office. So uh, we have a good thing going. Uh, wonderful growth has occurred in recent years to uh, allow this uh, enterprise to excel and to thrive and to grow. So uh, from this report, I encourage all of you, as I encourage myself, let's continue bolstering the state's number one sector of industry by empowering the very North Carolinians responsible to innovate and experiment further as the market demands. Recently, NC State uh, put together uh, a movement and a project uh, that they call the Plant Science Initiative, and it's all about research. And the NC State Plant Science Building provides infrastructure for ag research and it is indeed a phenomenal building with uh, indescribable research and activity going on under the roof of it. Uh, the North Carolina State University is known as a powerhouse institution for agricultural research. By uh, asking challenging questions and searching for answers, researchers aim to make the state's industry more efficient, profitable, and sustainable. Now with a brand new plant science building equipped with cutting edge technology, the university, uh, university has a space where researchers from across disciplines can gather, collaborate, and share ideas to enhance North Carolina agriculture. Uh, this is uh, somewhat of a in-house uh, one, one application from the lab to the field. The 185,000 square foot building supports the university's North Carolina Plant Sciences Initiative, which delivers solutions to farmers through interdisciplinary research, student training, and effective outreach. Now faculty and students from various North Carolina state departments and disciplines, for example, plant biology, engineering, crop and soil sciences and forestry come together for a research project focused on providing agricultural solutions in the state. If you look at the diversity of expertise represented by the faculty in this initiative, uh, we have a very wide breadth coming to the table who may not have previously worked in agriculture. Uh, so says Dr. Rachel Van, assistant professor and extension soybean specialist. That's really the whole spirit of the Plant Science Initiative. Uh, Dr. Van came to NC State for grad school and started as a professor in soybean extension specialist in 2018. About a year ago, she took on a part-time administrative role as the Plant Science Initiative Director for Extens Extension Outreach and Engagement. Um, so in the position uh, that has been created, uh, this is a focus on effective bilateral 
communication between the end user, uh, uh, that is the farmer, and the researchers all along the project pipeline. And this is a quote from Dr. Van. We look to our robust North Carolina extension system and the farmers to communicate problems in the field which drive the research projects we do, but we also effectively communicating to them the science that's going on within the plant science initiative. The theme of collaboration is the backbone of plant science initiative within many areas, including amongst researchers and between researchers and cooperative extension and producers. So uh, after many, many years, uh, a new building has been erected uh, dedicated to this. Uh, Dr. Cranus Williams, PSI, that's Plant Science Initiative, Platform Director for Data-Driven Plant Sciences, and the Goodnight Distinguished Professor of Agricultural Analytics in the uh, Electrical and Computer Engineering Department, agrees that interdisciplinary uh, aspect of the Plant Science Initiative opens the door for research acceleration and tailored solution for farmers. Uh, he adds that the new building falls into that mission very well. Uh, the mission of the Plant Science Initiative is to accelerate translational plant science research. To be able to do that, you need to have a physical environment where individuals from diverse disciplines and departments can congregate, share ideas, and formulate projects. It's one thing to say you want to do it, but it's another thing to take action the way North Carolina State University has. We are fortunate to have so many different disciplines in one building. The 160.2 million plant science uh, building includes, uh, and uh, let me repeat that again. In other words, it, it has cost to date $160.2 million to erect this new facility and structure. And that includes an 80,000 square feet of research labs, several greenhouses, labs, shared conference space, and more. Uh, I might say one of the favorite features of the Plant Science Initiative uh, makerspace uh, was built specific, specifically for agricultural research. There are several uh, maker spaces across the campus, but this one has specific equipment that will allow for rapid prototyping of low-cost custom hardware and software solutions for monitoring plan and cropping systems from the lab to the greenhouse to the field. Uh, so this is uh, another way of collecting data, data acquisition, and uh, this happens in some of these research projects that uh, happen uh, they are in the building, and in so doing, the results are uh, better insight for farmers by collecting data on sweet potatoes, for instance, across the value chain. We are really focused on capturing the diversity in size and shape of sweet potatoes, and uh, sweet potatoes are so big in, uh, in what we do here in North Carolina, in acreage and in the value they, uh, they generate. This is just one of several NC plant science projects uh, utilizing the plant science building. And a lot of good things are coming from it. My time is up now. I appreciate being here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for allowing me to come in and visit. I look forward to being with you next week. Uh, have a good day and God bless.